We have commissioned eight area artists uh, to take eight pianos and take each one and make it into a unique work of art. So four of those pianos began life as your typical grand piano and the artist took each one and they've painted them in fanciful ways. Uh, the other four began life as upright pianos and the artists have taken those pianos and deconstructed them and then taken the parts to create some sort of interesting sculptural kind of piece. You can recognize that you know the parts came out of a piano but no longer really looks like a piano. We're getting huge response. I get telephone calls to the office, emails, a uh, great deal going on on Facebook and Twitter, a uh, number of uh, media inquiries. Uh, one guy called from uh, a station here in town and said, are you, are you the guy I can talk to about all the pianos downtown around Monument Circle? And he said, uh, you know, what in the world's going on? <laughs> Not too wacky of an idea, I hope. Uh, obviously, we are the American Pianist Association, so it was my idea, well, let's take pianos, make some sort of public statement, you know, through an art initiative, using those pianos as a way to generate more awareness of the work of the American Pianist Association, but especially the Classical Fellowship Awards, which we're in the midst of right now. This is a competition for American pianists between the ages of 18 and 30. We have five finalists. The mission is to support young American pianists, both classical and jazz, uh, in their career aspirations. Somebody is going to emerge from this as the winner and will be named the Dahan Classical Fellow of the American Pianist Association and win a prize worth well over $100,000. $50,000 of that is cash. The remainder is in career service um, and assistance and concert fees and things like that uh, over two years. We're trying to target that area in an artist's life when they're sort of emerging from their professional study into the professional world. And that is a very, very difficult time in the life of artists. And um, you know they, they don't quite have uh, international recognition. They might not have management. Uh, they've been wonderfully trained as classical or jazz pianists. They just need a little bit of a career boost, and we're there to help provide that kind of career boost. You know, I think the, the young artists today have to be highly entrepreneurial, and uh, these guys are, and they find a way to make it work because they love their art, they love the piano, this is what they want to do, and they simply find a way to make that happen. We've been around for over 30 years, uh, but just in the last few years have taken a position that maybe we should seek more visibility. As people come downtown or go to our website or otherwise uh, see these pianos, uh, if they uh, really like one, they can, there's a way that that person can take that piano home <laughs> because they're all being auctioned off. And uh, if they go to our website, AmericanPianist.org, they'll see all the information about how to participate in that online auction. Some of the things we've been talking about today or, or events designed to increase the awareness of the work of the American Pianist Association. But the real soul of the organization comes down to the concerts, you know. So I want to encourage people to come here, these marvelous young classical pianists. They're playing every day uh, during the week, April 15 through 20, most especially the gala finals on the evening of April 19th and 20th, uh, 8 o'clock, Little Circle Theater. Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra, uh, great conductor, five pianists playing five of the top piano concertos of Western music, uh, all at a bargain price. So I uh, hope that people come out and hear that. <laughs>